The steps of City Hall, ground zero, for the start of this climate march. It's an event that's captured the imaginations of thousands, like 12-year-old Landon De Silva. I am hoping that we can save our planet before it's too late, because in a hundred years, we, our planet might just be filled with pollution and we might have to live on masks and oxygen tanks. The Vancouver climate strike, one of hundreds held across the world, was organized by a small group of teens with big dreams of a brighter tomorrow. This is a really, really exciting day where people from all corners of Metro Vancouver, all across Canada, have really come together to show our support. We're flooding the streets. Dreams that won't come true without climate action. I'm scared to have children. I'm scared to bring them to this world. So we need to make sure that this is a change that we need to do constantly. Students from across the region skipped school to come here. We're missing our education just to be here because what's the point in going to school if we're not going to have a future? The crowd swelled to more than 80,000 protesters, a diverse bunch spanning generations. It's our generation that's going to have to reap the reap what's happening right now. I'm inspired. They're all uh, they're all little fighters. They leaders. They risk takers, and I think it's awesome. They're going to make a difference, but we should do it before they do it. Traffic shut down as eager protesters took to the streets before the march even officially began. Why aren't more people talking about this? Like, what's going on? What is? What does it take for the government to listen to us? I think it's really important that everybody here understands that it's more than just a strike. You have to be able to make a change yourself. Among the many demands here, an end to fossil fuel subsidies and zero carbon pollution by 2050. So why should leaders take these kids seriously? It's our future. They're not going to be here as long as we are. So it's like we wouldn't be messing this up because they're not going to have to live through it. We are. This is our future, and I think we know that we want it to be a good one. If we don't, like, change it now, then who is? The march might have ended on the other side of the Canby Bridge, but these protesters say their fight is far from over. John Hernandez, CBC News, Vancouver.